<laughs> okay, Brett. Um, a lot of good stuff going on here. One real easy thing that I would like to see you focus on as you work in the, the summertime. And this was consistent in each of your swings. So I'm just going to show this one. I like how you rock into hip load, right? So you got a good negative movement there. You're rocking into back hip load. But then I want you to watch as you stride. See how your hips climb up and then down and you start to rotate out just a little bit soon. Now what's really good is as your front heel gets down, you've done a good job of still having your hands back. But I think that you can see here, you've set yourself up to be just a little bit around and that's something that we see in each of your swings. But I would recommend, and I'll show you something here, Everything that you do here is fine and it's rocking into hip load, but then feel yourself just going straight forward instead of up and down with your hips. Because as you watch, as you climb up, again, watching your hips, see how you climb up. If we zoom in on your feet, okay, you can see how far out your front foot has gotten. And now you can see how it's actually coming down backwards. You're getting a little bit of reach with your front foot and now you start to come down backwards. And as you come down, you can see your hips up at the top starting to open up, which is setting your path to be just around a little bit. If you still look like that when you got into the ground, you would be real good. Instead, you're just starting to open up just a little bit as you get in and I'm convinced that that's caused by watching your hips again. You get a little bit of hip climb up. And then again, as you come down, we watch our feet. You can see how your foot is slightly coming backwards. Just feel that back leg being in control of your stride. Rather than getting that reaching motion, you can really see it there. The reaching motion with your front foot because see how you don't have enough weight off of your back leg, so now your foot has to come back and you start to rotate early. So just think my back leg is in control of my stride, not my front leg. So now we're just going to get the weight off of our back leg. You can see how you still have a lot kind of stacked up. Oops. You still have a lot kind of stacked up here. And that's why instead of going straight into the ground, now your foot has to come slightly backwards and you start to rotate a little bit prematurely. Again, great job in that your hands are still back real good, but it's going to cause you to have that more around type of action. You're releasing your backside good there. I think we get through a little bit more, but we can talk about that later. So as you rock into hip load, just think, all right, now my back leg is going to control my stride rather than reaching with my front foot. And then again, you can see here how your front foot has to come slightly back because you didn't get enough weight off of your back leg and you start to rotate just a little bit prematurely there.